Round of applause for the seniors. Wow, they've gone through a, a challenging time through college and, and they'll be out in the real world soon when they graduate. So you know, they do have some student loans that they owe, so if you do have some money, make sure you can help them out a little bit. You need to support our students here. Okay, now I have another story that I'd like to share with all of you this afternoon. When I was uh, a little boy, uh, my family would go to church every Sunday. And at that time, churches did not have interpreters. There was really no way for me to communicate or understand what was going on. So it wasn't always very fun for me to go to church. But actually, I think church really did benefit me quite a bit. It really helped me improve my math skills. Now you're probably thinking, math skills? How can that improve your math skills at church? But I'll tell you how that happened. During the sermon, I would sit in the pew with my family, and to start off, I'd just look around, and I'd notice people sitting there, men, women, babies, um, men, I would look at their bald spots, I would just kind of see what was going on around, but I'd quickly get bored. So then I'd look up at the priest, and I wasn't able to lip read him. He was just too far away. So then I would notice that there were quite a few lights hanging from the ceiling, rows and rows of lights. So what I did was I started counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Until my father saw me and wondered what I was doing and told me to knock it off that I needed to watch the priest. Okay, sure, Dad. But then I'd start looking up at the lights and start counting them again. And I would count and count. And not only would I count, I could add. I would come up with, well, there's three lights there and three lights there, so that's six. And also, I could do multiplication. For example, there would be 10 lights in one row and seven rows. So seven times 10 equals 70. Pretty good. Not only could I multiply, I could do subtraction. And the way I would do that is I would count the lights that were burned out. So if we had 70 with three lights burned out, I would have 67. So that's how I improved my math skills. And then I wonder what the priest would think of me when I left church, because every time when I left, I'd walk up to him and I'd say, Father, you have three light bulbs burnt off, and you have 128 lights in church. Wow. Maybe I should have paid more attention to him. All right, now the group will be doing a skit called Hallelujah Chorus. Please welcome them. You let me hold your hand. You let me hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. Okay, class. Today we are going to practice the Hallelujah Chorus for our next performance. Okay? It's ready?
I'm happy we sang the same word over and over again. What if we had to sing supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Oh, wow. I hope she doesn't want us to, to sing another song, because we're going to run out of poster board. <laughs> <laughs> 